Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for Gent Watches One Piece. You might be asking yourself now, why am I standing up? Is this a new setup? No, I, <laughs> I tilted the camera up and I'm standing. You know, why? Because I just need to stretch my legs. I've been sitting down for a while. But um, I will be sitting down to, I won't be standing up while watching the episode. So if that's your concern, if that would have ruined the video for you, don't worry. It's not going to happen. Um, Anyway, today we are doing some uh, One Piece, and I just want to straight up from the top uh, say that um, my voice today is a little tired because I was doing a lot of stuff today that required my voice, and so um, it might possibly be, you know, a little uh, scratchy at times, tired at other times, less energy at other times. My inner self doesn't have less energy, it is purely my throat. So uh, I'm still just as excited to watch this episode, I just can't express it through my voice. I'll try to express it with facial expressions as best I can. Um, but uh, but yeah, we're going to be jumping into episodes 363 all the way to 366, that's four episodes in this video. Um, and I mean, look, I, um, I, I know what I'm posting right now on YouTube as of the time I'm recording this. I'm sort of posting the earlier parts of Thriller Bark on my YouTube channel. And I know in those earlier episodes, I was like, oh yeah, this is a decent little arc, but um, I don't know, you know, there's not much that I'm really looking forward to yet, or I don't really know what to expect. Um, and, uh, and it's funny because people in the comments are saying like, oh, I really like Thriller Bark and there's some really good things coming up and all that sort of stuff. Um, but now, the me right now, as I'm watching these episodes, I actually really like Thriller Bark. <laughs> I think this is actually going to be an arc that I will talk about fondly. I don't, know, I don't know if it'll become one of my favorite arcs or anything, but I definitely think I'll talk about it fondly once uh, the show is done. I'll be like, oh yeah, Thriller Bark, that was fun. That was a good arc. Um, and I mean, you know, maybe they will absolutely stick the landing and have some incredible stuff at the end. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect from the ending of this. But uh, yeah, anyway, I think we should just jump into these episodes. I am so keen to do it. And that means I will be sitting down again. <laughs> um, make sure to support the channel if you can, liking the video, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel, all that stuff helps me out a ton. And go to my Patreon account if you want the full length reactions, that's the entire episodes. The whole freaking episodes. Um, obviously you need to have your own footage, but you sync it up with me, at the same time, you watch the episode, you get so much more reaction, it's so much, uh, so much better. I don't want to say it, but it's better. Uh, so go over to my Patreon account and check that out. It's also early access. You can get the next at least 16 or so episodes on there right now. Would we be done on my... By the time you're watching this, we'll be kind of wrapping up. Um, I think we'll have wrapped up Thriller Bark by th this time on my Patreon account. So yeah, go, go check it out. But uh, yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's jump into episode 363 of... One Piece. One Piece, woo! Life is adventurous. Be aware it's dangerous. Who's gonna be one of us? And the trip goes on because we're the pirate of the mass. To the west, to the east. Gotta find my way and sail away all the way to One Piece. Recap Rubik's. If you're new to this channel, the Recap Rubik's is a Rubik's Cube that I do while the recap is going on. And I try to beat the recap. Okay, that's cube number one complete. Do I even have time for cube number two? I doubt it. Oh, that's up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Who was that on screen? I didn't get very far on the second cube. I saw a woman, but I wasn't allowed to look for very long. And I look back and it's gone. It's like a blonde woman. Was it Sindri? Maybe we're gonna get Sindri stuff in this episode. Yeah, he, he's not very similar to Sanji now. But they're gone now. <laughs> mm. Oh, we both made the same noise. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
こんな天才の悩みが<笑> Not everything that moves is alive. Have I seen Weekend at Bernie's? I haven't actually seen Weekend at Bernie's, but I know what it is. Oh! Hey! Okay, you fucking douche. Oh, they had to censor it. <laughs> they actually didn't... Don't go as low as the floor. Oh yeah, Chopper, fucking kill this guy. Yeah, that one with the title on the title screen would have been Sindri. Uh -huh. Oh god, this is creepy. Oh, this is creepy. Aww. <laughs> that is his laugh then. Bit more normal, I guess. Oh. Did she break his heart? Okay. I thought there was going to be a situation there where she broke his heart. Aww. Mm hmm. She wasn't in love with you. Ah, oh, she had a partner. His fucking mouth goes so wide. Oh, God. So, were you the one to kill her? Oh, no. She just died? Okay, so it was an accident. Moria recruited some creeps. Like Hogback and Absalom are some of the creepiest fucking characters we've come across. And I don't mean creepy as in scary. Digging up her grave. Oh my god. Oh my god, Hogback. Oh my gosh, but she... She's not the same. <laughs> oh my god. She also didn't really retain her beauty, but... I'm not gonna judge that. Stop making her lick the floor. Yeah, Chopper, come on. Yeah. I want you to go monster form just so you can absolutely destroy Hogback. Like, I don't mind if it's overkill, you know? Mediocre? No. Come on. Luffy doesn't recruit mediocre. Go. <laughs> Just charge through him. What do you do to her? Do you just restrain her? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not. I'm not understanding her because she's a woman. Oh. 
Yeah, so having empathy for her, that's good. Yeah. He really is despicable, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh. That affect Sindri? Huh? It affected all the zombies? Quick. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh no, no, no! No! They were so close! Sindri, you have to eat it yourself. That would be great if Sindri ate it herself. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, but he's too strong for that. Oh? Don't... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was angry that he attacked Robin, like he might have been getting that personality back again. But no. But this is just Zoro and Sanji fighting. Yeah. You guys recognize it's still Zoro and, Zoro and Sanji's personality, kind of. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Look how happy she is. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so brutal the way she's holding his mouth. Like, what do you mean, that? <laughs> Instead of like, bro, you know? Oh. <laughs> now cover his mouth again. Cover his mouth again. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a crazy way to <laughs> get those two to be defeated. <laughs> we don't want to. She's crying. Oh. The heart within the heart. Wow. Huh. There's still a bit of personality in there. Some remnants. Okay, Oz is back. Okay. Okay. Good episode. Um, a like sad and frustrating episode because Hogback is a scumbag, but, um, but a good episode. I mean, like there's like a, a difference between me hating Hogback and me hating Absalom, <laughs> but I think Absalom also like it made Sanji come off worse you know like made Sanji worse during their fight but in this episode I mean we just bring out the best in Chopper through his hatred of Hogback and everything he's done so um so like Hogback is like so horrible and evil but I like I like hating Hogback I want I want him to go down but like I like how you know Almost cartoonishly villainous he is. I mean, he is a he is a very cartoony villain, but um, but it's it. I just you know it's gonna be satisfying when he's taken down. It's that's that's just what it comes down to. But man, Moria, I think Moria is actually gonna be like up there with the scummiest, um, with the scummiest of all the villains in the show, purely for me because it's like. He is seemingly a scumbag, and then he recruited, like, Absalom and Hogback, um, 
and also uh Perina, but um you know, I don't I don't mind Perina too much. <laughs> I mean, look, not to say she's great, like she's a great person or anything. She's still a bad guy as well, but like compared to the other two, she is a saint, an absolute saint. Um so uh yeah, anyway, that hogback backstory, I mean, it was kind of like it makes a lot of sense. It was kind of expected. Um, he basically, like, Sindri was a, an actress that he, or a entertainer of some sort that he absolutely loved. Um, she was the sort of person that was such a nice person. She was nice to a lot of people. And she was so nice to him that he got infatuated. When he was so infatuated, he, like, wanted to pursue her. But she was, uh, you know, she she was already in a relationship and and had a happy life and didn't have any interest in in a romantic relationship with hogback hogback was pissed off she seemingly died just to an accident which i can believe i i can believe that you know i think some people might try to theorize that oh hogback was the one who killed her but i don't think that's the case i think for at least unless they like reveal that later on it feels to me like it actually was an accident but that's what made hogback snap like, the opportunity presenting itself there is what actually, like, made it even, you know, ma ma gave him the chance to break. Um, so, Ogback then went and fucking dug up her grave. Oh, man, it's just, that's, it's disgusting. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, horrible, horrible human being. Uh, but... Uh, some interesting ideas here of like, so they have their personalities kind of initially, or they have like aspects of their personalities initially, but they fade away, um, you know, pretty quickly. And then there's like nothing left of them except being like slaves to, um, to Hogback and, and to Moria. But, um, but the thing is, they seem to still actually have those personality things within them, but they just are more inclined to be a puppet. Um, because, like, their voices don't change, firstly. Like, otherwise, you know, they they should all speak the same eventually if they all just turn into mindless zombies. But they all still have, like, um, verbal tics that are similar to the person that um, that their personality came from, you know? Um, and so there's that, and then they also, like, seemingly, if given, like, the freedom to, they would be like the person they had. Like, I, I feel like if you had taken the Zoro zombie and told him to, like, like, commanded him to list his favorite things he would be listing things that Zoro likes swords drinking rice balls you know like he would be listing things that 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 the actual Zoro likes um he wouldn't just be listing generic stuff you know um and so in this case he did the take out the pests or whatever and the Sanji and Zoro zombies both fought with one another because that was like part of their personality and they were given sort of an open-ended thing and so their personalities came out a little bit in that. But also I think their personalities came out a little bit from hearing what Chopper said because that also broke through to Sindri and now Sindri um, is just standing there crying. Um, so yeah, that's it's good to know that there's enough in there that you can actually break through to that personality a little bit. Um, but not enough there that they're actually still the person, you know, like it's, it's probably, it's merciful to k kill them essentially so that they're not just slaves because otherwise they'll, they'll just live a life of slavery otherwise. Um, and yeah, it's wow. Crazy, crazy episode. So let's just move on to the next one. This is episode 364 of One Piece. Here we go. Life is adventurous. Be aware it's dangerous. To the west, to the east, gotta find my way to sail away all the way to one piece. Recap Rubik's. Here we go. 
Okay, that's cube one done. Cube two. Okay, that's the second cube done. That was a two cube cap. Alright, Luffy. Luffy v Luffy. Oh, don't look. The title is Luffy vs Luffy. It wouldn't be that short a title with One Piece. <laughs> Crocodile tears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a deep philosophical question. <laughs> it bought you some time. Oh! No way you let him get away. You're faster than Hogback, surely. Because Oz is here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're all very different types of people. <laughs> Whoa! You got feet under your feet. What the fuck? <laughs> what, this is so weird. Oh well, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> Roby Cho. Love and Chopper, cute. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we're all about being free. Kill Luffy? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Basically, kill him. Well, found one. <laughs> oh my god, he's out of there. Bell. Yeah, he is using Bell. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just let Hogback's head hit the ground and crack open. <laughs> just jumped off Hogback. Oh! Uh-huh. Sindri, do something cool. Do something cool, Sindri. Don't save him! <laughs> what? I mean, I'm a genius and I get stepped on all the time. Just like I like it. Mm. Good. Good. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god, this might be very satisfying. Oh, she looked towards Chopper. Oh, and then she dies. If you can even call it dying as a zombie. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, so satisfying. Just is he just dead? Please, please. I hope. I'd be alright if Perona is the only villain to survive this. <laughs> Just put Perona in a marine base and we can find her later. Oh, you found one. 
Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot Nami's still unconscious in a wedding dress. If she didn't wake up after all of this, I think she's out for a, a while. Oh, no. Was that Absalom? Is he still alive? And conscious? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please be killed by Oz. Uh. No, I don't want I don't want to cut away knowing Absalom is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing you do have. <laughs> Getting used to your new sword, Zoro. Attuning to it. Pretty dope. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Where's Nami? <laughs> mm -hmm. Luffy, I think it's time to go into second gear. You might need the speed. Leave her alone. Absalom. Oh my god. Save Verona. <laughs> He's got your face on his arm. Well, your mask. What if... What if they got, like, one of Moria's wanted posters and put it there? I mean, Moria could just give another command, but maybe if Oz attacked him before he gave another command. No thanks. I don't know. Maybe all of you together can. Oh, Zoro's not worried. <laughs> He'll do it. <laughs> okay, pretty good episode. Didn't mind that. Um, I really liked, like, the satisfaction of Hogback being trapped and, like, screaming for Sindri to help him and her just not doing it. Like, that's... Those sorts of scenes are very satisfying. I mean, that's, like, a classic thing in media where the, the villain gets caught somewhere and, like, their own horrible actions up to that point to the reason that they can't get saved um i mean it's also like the batman thing like i'm not gonna kill you but i don't have to save you you know that thing um i would do a better batman impression if my voice wasn't hurting <laughs> but um it's like that whole thing you know uh and so this this scene here was just so satisfying i don't know if like it f feels like hogback died there but I don't know that for certain, but I'd be pretty happy if if we never saw him again, you know? Um, that feels like a satisfying way for that character to go out, I think. I would be very happy with that. Um, and, like, because also, it's not like he's a major fighter. Like, that's... I actually kind of appreciate that as well. I mean, you know, maybe he'll come back and that'll change. But, like, it seems like he wasn't a fighter at all. He just was a doctor or a you know, scientist, I guess, a mad scientist. Um, and so, like, in a fight, he was actually pretty useless. And um, and w so him getting defeated by something like that makes a lot of sense and, like, works well. And it's not as anticlimactic as it would be if, like, Moria died like that, you know? Because Moria, is, well, I imagine, is more of a fighter. He's more of someone that we should... Uh, fight with <laughs> um, so yeah like that's uh, that was that's just a good way for him to go out by the way um, someone did want me to like rem recall because um, this was on, I think this was a YouTube comment I can't remember who left it um, but uh, it was about the warlords um, 
that, like, just to remember that the warlords, even though they're all warlords, there's still a spectrum of, of, uh, skill level there. And someone like, um, uh, Hawkeye is on the higher end of that spectrum of, of difficulty. So, Moria, while Moria is, like, very powerful, could be still, you know, not, not quite, like, Hawkeye level. Um, he might be on the lower end of the Warlords, you know? Just like maybe Crocodile was on the lower end of the Warlords? I don't know. Crocodile felt pretty fucking powerful. Like, it felt like we had a, a very specific set of situations um, that helped us to defeat him, and we got very lucky with some of the stuff, but otherwise he was actually insanely powerful. But, um, but I don't know, maybe Crocodile seriously was still on the low end of, uh, of the Warlords. Um, like, if I had to guess, without knowing these Warlords, um, without knowing the, their powers, their strengths, or whatever, like, or only knowing Crocodile and Moria and Hawkeye, and then having seen a tiny bit of, like, Don Flamingo and whoever else and stuff, um then, like, I would guess Crocodile was, like, the third weakest, you know? Maybe Moria is, like, second weakest or weakest? I feel like Moria, so far, hasn't seemed like he's as strong as Crocodile was, which is fine. I don't think the show needs to necessarily go up in difficulty. You know, like, Crocodile could have been an incredibly powerful guy and we don't have to keep one upping him and going like oh, and here's someone more powerful and here's someone more powerful you know like i think shows when they do difficulty level they can go like here 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 you know like because then you you vary it up and like and sometimes the difficulty of a, an arc doesn't also have to be like how hard it is to fight to that guy but also like the moral things they have to overcome like how they have to grow to do that sort of thing um there's like many other things that you could approach um so yeah but um i don't remember why i was saying that but i wanted to point out that because i think that comment is important for me to remember and maybe i do forget it sometimes when i'm talking about warlords um but uh yeah and i also liked in this episode that robert and chopper they had like a combo move and then Chopper named it like the Robin Ro Robbie Cho, um, you know, suplex or whatever. Like it, it, he he named it after them, which I think I thought was cute. Like that he, that they have little names for their combo moves. That's adorable. Um, the straw hat posters on the arm makes me think because they're like they kept showing it and kept talking about how that's what he's going after it makes me think they're going to somehow change those posters or something to like manipulate oars but i don't know because like oars right now is like such a destructive force that like he's actually kind of really bad for the straw hats and still like kind of bad for moria's group you know like he's so destructive that we could we might be able to use his collateral damage against them like you know, Hogback potentially dying just there. Um, stuff like that. So, we might end up using Oars against Moria. But, I guess we'll see. Let's move on to the next episode. Um, you'll probably see me in, like, either different clothes or different lighting or something. Because I'm going to probably record this tomorrow. Uh, the next part of the video tomorrow. But, uh, let's move on to episode 365. <laughs> Life is adventurous to the east. Gotta find my way to sail away all the way to one piece. Okay, recap Rubik's. Okay, there's cube one done. And you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with cube two. Feels like we're close enough. I genuinely might have been able to do the second cube. I didn't realize that Airy Cap had this much left in it. That might have been a two cube cap that I just wasted the opportunity.
Oh my god, Brooke's mouth! Some of the mouths in these episodes! And how is it just black in his mouth? Surely it should just go through. You know, we should just be able to see through it. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't think you're gonna be able to talk Oz out of this one, Sanji. Or beat him in a fight. Your best chance is to trick him. Mm. Well, now he's fighting for Nami. If Nami was here with him, he might try to get away with her. Well, yeah, they were only interested in your shadows. But you're fighting back. <laughs> Based off that picture. Yeah. I wouldn't say he doesn't look anything like it. I would say he looks quite a bit like it. It's just a goofy version. Yeah. The main thing's the cigarette and the curl and the yellow hair. Gummy <laughs> gummy no. Oh my god. Yeah, the shadow is a bitch to deal with. Oh. Man, yeah, he really doesn't have to do much. <laughs> it takes Luffy so much effort just to deal with, like, little annoyances that Warrior puts out. Cool. I like the way they animate that, though. That's cool. <laughs> well, he did, so go away. <laughs> Good, okay. He's just leaving them there to fight. <laughs> Stop blushing. No, oh, they're doing it again. I thought we were done with this. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna kiss him? <laughs> okay, I'm fine with that. Please fall in love with Hildon and be done with all this. You're a good kisser. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't, Luffy. <laughs> Fall for the oldest tricks in the book. Hmm. Run into trouble? <laughs> Bye, Hilden. Okay, well, Sanji's keeping up at least. He wasn't just annihilated right away. Okay, what's he gonna do? Do something sick. Oh, even even Zoro is smirking. He's even proud of Sanji. Sickle, cool. <laughs> Have you? Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot there was a reason he was given that name. Oh. God damn! I feel like we're gonna get the other straw hats helping out a little bit here. Oh! Oh, oh, yes, Usopp! Hell yeah. Now that was great, Usopp. You're the only one who fucking did anything. Usopp's not on there. 
また雨降ってる、うん、しかだなまずいフラッキーあいつはこっちにおびき寄せろよしきさくらえバケモン OK I'm glad they're all like working together now Oh shit! Just kick the building down. Oh yes! Shadow of the Colossus! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. It's good that he can do three sword style right now. Oh shit! Robin, stop his fall! God damn, Oz is, is tough. Oh no. He's gonna throw that building like a javelin? Oh no, he just slammed it? Damn. Robin. It's gotta be you, Robin. Right? Yeah. There you go. That's exactly what I was imagining she'd do. Oh shit! You just left him trapped in there! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't know if that'll be enough, but. Yeah, I think it needs to be a lot of salt. So I don't think that's enough. He's gonna go, yum. Who am I? I'm surprised he didn't like react to it. Did it like stun him for a second, maybe? Or was that just one piece pacing? <laughs> Cause he just stared at them. Oh chopper. Damn man, we got fucking owned. Oh this is clever. They're showing all the parts. They're showing all the parts of ores that are like all the straw hats. That's really cool actually. <laughs> all right okay cool episode i enjoyed it um so yeah i mean we're we got the straw hats versus oars and we right now don't stand a chance which makes sense i mean if this is already like if oars was already this incredible like legendary figure and then has the the spirit and the um fighting techniques and stuff of luffy and I imagine the nimbleness as well comes from Luffy. Um, then yeah, like what what the fuck do you do? You know, like that's that's just an incredibly powerful um, beast. So um, so yeah, I was like I I like the way they show the threat of him in this episode, where it's like all of the Straw Hats were kind of like working together but very desperately, um, and it just it wasn't working out. But, I mean, I will say, like, Usopp's kind of carrying this arc in, in a lot of ways. Like, Usopp's, um, like, every, in each of these battles, Usopp is doing, like, the smart things. And, like, he's, it feels like he's got the best strategies. Like, honestly, him getting salt into the, into Oz's mouth is, uh, is, is a great idea. Like, it, it didn't work out. Um, but it was like he he was the first person to actually be able to do that um, I think he's probably taken out the most of the like um, Individual zombies, you know, they're like random zombies about like I think he's taken out the most of them with his uh, with his slingshots and stuff um, And then in this episode he also saved Sanji by shooting that fire and that's what triggered all the other straw hats to get into the battle as well otherwise they were just watching and they didn't know what to do you know um and i mean obviously all of that usopp has the advantage because he's the ranged fighter and they were all at range um but the others like weren't doing anything so like props to usopp for being able to do that stuff um i really liked that i also really liked in this episode the bit where like sanji was like standing his ground and everyone like was like yes sanji and it showed it specifically showed zoro giving like a grin and i really like that because it's like we we know deep down like those two bicker and fight and stuff but they also do have like a, a form of respect for each other because they are very similar types of characters and um and that like respect for one another i love when they just like show it like zoro 
doesn't say it to Sanji's face very often, but when he's looking at him like this, you can see there's like some pride in him. Like this is my crewmate, and like I like seeing him stand up to a force like this, someone so powerful and like be unwavering. Zoro knows that Sanji's got the right spirit, so it's that's just that was just a very nice like that was probably my favorite moment of the episode and it was like a two second shot it was just like a really nice moment to uh to see there um but yeah i mean next episode i don't know are we gonna are we gonna jump into um jump back into that battle and continue the oars battle or are we gonna go over to luffy i don't know but uh again like all everything that's happening right now I really like, except for the Absalom stuff. This is, <laughs> I know I keep bringing up the Absalom stuff, um, but it's also like extra bad right now for me because not only do I not like Absalom, but he's taken Nami out of the arc. Like she's just unconscious in front of him, doing nothing except being a prop for his like evil stuff. And he also had to survive. Like, why can't Perina be the one that, like, survived and is still doing shit, you know? Like, I wouldn't have liked that as much either because I I would have preferred, you know, Usopp taking out Perina was the end of Perina for that for that bit of the show. But, um, but I still, you know, if anyone is to come back, give me my favorite character, please. <laughs> but it's just like, as with Nami being my favorite character, the fact that she's just not present for this arc is very sad. Um, and the fact that the re and the reason for her not being present in this arc is extra sad because it's like at it makes me like despise this character more. I mean, it the advantage is you're supposed to not like Absalom. Uh, at least I hope you know you're supposed to uh, want him to be defeated and you're supposed to like dislike this guy. So that's working on me. I'm not I'm not mad at Oda. I'm not saying Oda is a bad writer for, for this character or, or um, that he's a bad character necessarily. I'm just saying I hate him and I think I'm allowed to, to hate him. But I also, I doubt he's a fan favorite character. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be people who are like, oh no, I love Absalom. He's very funny and I like his powers or whatever. That's fine, but I hate him. <laughs> um, all right, well. That was uh, episode 365. Let's do the last episode we're doing in this video. Episode 366. Life is adventurous. Be aware it's dangerous. Who's going to be one of us? And a trip goes on because to the east. Gotta find my way to stay in the way all the way to one piece. Recap Rubik's. Let's do it. <laughs> That's cube one done. I'm not gonna do the second cube because I think there's not gonna be enough time for it. I know I said that last time, but I mean it this time. Okay, yeah, there was enough time for a second cube there. <laughs> he counts so slowly. Uh, <laughs> it's funny that you think of Usopp as an outsider. Mm. Well, or is Andy supposed to throw them back on their ship? Wasn't that the whole thing? He's just leaving them there? I mean, he might just think they're dead, I guess. <gasps> Cutting to Verona? Oh, she's having nightmares of cockroaches. <laughs> Oh, this is awful. <laughs> and having nightmares of Soge King? Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, she's blushing. <laughs> I was just saying, why isn't Perona the one that came back? Maybe she will. Yeah, he certainly did. Oh, shit! <laughs> Woman! <laughs> Looking for Nami, I imagine. Yeah. 
<laughs> Perona, I genuinely hope you get out safely. <laughs> I'd love to see you later in the show. No, don't steal our ship, though. No, 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 no. I wouldn't... I, I'm not happy with that. Nami, are you waking up? Yes, please, wake up. Yes, beat the shit out of him. Oh my god, just, like, destroy this guy's testicles if he has any. Oh. Look who's back, Lola. Lola, can you cut off Absalom's head? We've settled this, Lola! <laughs> you said you were shipping us. That's a funny line. <laughs> this has literally been... I don't even want to say what it's been. If I say what it's been, I might get demonetized. Oh, I hope he believes this, honestly. Uh, he is seemingly believing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's gonna leave Nami alone. Oh, that's true. You saw her naked. You unfortunately pressed up against her naked. Oof. Oh my god, Absalom. I don't need to be reminded of why I hate him. I remember. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh no! Sisterhood! Okay, you know what, Lola, I respect it. Okay, you know what, this is good, this is good. I thought it was annoying that they were bringing up the bad stuff after they had solved that. But Lola's playing along. I like it. Yes, I don't know what Nami identifies as. Just saying. Oh my god. Is Lola dead? I don't feel like that would kill Lola. Damn though, Nami's standing up for her. Nami. Okay. Nami's gonna kill Absalom. Uh, yes, Nami. Oh my god, Nami, please. Oh my god, I've never rooted for a a victory more. <laughs> Okay, Nami. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, come on. Oh. How effective is it? Oh, oh just damn. Knocked him out in one hit. What's this? What's going on? He's having a... He's having a dream that she just... <laughs> he gets to have this wonderful daydream. I mean, yeah, isn't it good if she's consenting to it? You can see in your... In your dream she is. Oh my god! <laughs> Just, you want to fry him a few more times, just to be sure. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> I think Lola will be cool with it. Oh, Lola. Lola no. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Lola, I'm starting to like you. <laughs> now you're not respecting consent. <laughs> not that she ever did. 
Oh, that was close. Yeah. I, I think he could. Maybe you should fight him and find out. Did you call them losers for hiding in the forest? You're running from Luffy. Just saying. Rose. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why Robin was staying silent that whole time. She knew it. Hey, Oz. Let's fucking do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Seeing even Nico Robin with the sunken black eyes is crazy. Nice. Okay. That was uh, a good episode. It's hard, to, hard for me to tell. <laughs> um... It was largely, a lot of it was focused on Absalom. Um, and uh, I like that Nami seemingly was the one to take him down. I don't know if he's going to come back up or not. I don't know if they'll do it again with him coming back up. Um, but uh, but I liked, uh, I liked that Nami was the one to do that. At least now she's back in the arc. She's doing stuff again, which is good. I'm happy about that. Um... I think I like the Lola stuff now. Them the now that I see like sort of where they took that character, um, the like sort of idea of Nami and Lola uh, becoming friends and helping each other out in that situation, I think is way better. I mean, I've I've talked about it back in previous episodes with Lola, but where I basically. Think, you know, it's a very common thing to have, like a very common trope to have um, women against women, essentially. Um, like have them compete with each other for for a man, even if one of the women isn't willing or whatever. Like there's still always like, a competition between the women for some reason. Like the, the a lot of the time when some writers, especially male writers, but like let's just say writers in general, um, write situations like that. It's like the woman... It like woman A is blaming woman B for the relationship instead of blaming the man, um, which is like often odd. Does happen in real life, um, depending on the the people, you know. Um, like that that situation for sure happens. I'm not saying it's like necessarily unrealistic. It's just like kind of annoying, um, and but I like when shows instead like have it like oh. You know, this is happening and there's a man there, but, like, the women are gonna get along and they're great. You know, like, there are some really, really great shows are ones that, like, properly subvert that and do it very well. Like, in Ted Lasso, I love, I love the show Ted Lasso. And in that show, like, women are just fucking friends with each other the entire time. Like, they don't, they don't let men come between them. They don't let their relationships come between them generally. Um, and... It's like they will stick together in these very important moments. And it's like great to see because it's like very human and it treats them as people. And it's 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 great. It's really respectful and cool. So I liked in this episode and in the previous episodes with them being friends that Lola, you know, helps out Nami. And then when Lola is um, hurt because of that, Nami turns around and is like, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm going to fight for Lola now, which is great. I really, I really like that. Like her fighting for her friend. That's great. That's really good. Um, and, uh, and Perona came back as well. And funny, like the, the episode right after I talk about like, oh, why didn't Perona come back? Perona came back. She woke up. Um, but it seems like she's just trying to get the fuck out of here. Now, I don't want her to take the Straw Hat ship. Absolutely not. But I would like her to escape because the possibility of her coming back later in the show is too exciting for me to pass up, you know? Um, and, like, I kind of like that she's just, like, cutting her losses and now she's scared. I hope she stays scared of Usopp. I actually don't want her to interact with the Straw Hats again this arc, I don't think. I mean, if she does, great. But I, I think it would be for the best if she doesn't um, because of her fear of Usopp. And she just, like, just, you know, completely fucks off. That would be 
that would be ideal for me, I think. Um, like, I, I, I really, really love her, but I think her character has served her part in this arc as well. I think we should be focusing on Oz and Moria. Um, so, yeah, she can, she, she should go. <laughs> but I like that we got a little update of her. I like that we see, like, her nightmare of, um, like, she's having nightmares of Usopp and of cockroaches. Um, and, uh, and I like that she hears Oz just looking for a woman. <laughs> and she's like, shit, I gotta get out of here. I'm a woman. I, I like that as well. And, and just the whole idea of Oz just referring to Nami as woman is very funny as well. <laughs> um, like, obviously he doesn't really know anything about these people other than Nami's a woman. Uh, Soge King looks cool and Luffy wears a straw hat. Um, but just like walking around going, woman is woman in here is, is, is great. That's very funny. Um, yeah, anyway, that is One Piece episodes 363 to 366. Thank you so much for joining me on these episodes. Make sure to support the video, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and go to my Patreon account in the description below if you want the full length reactions, as well as early access exclusive videos. You can get the next, like, 16 episodes or something on there right now. As I said, we're probably at the end of Thriller Bark right now, or, or close to the end at the very least, on my Patreon account right now, so go check it out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.